Hey guys, Rack and Load. Got a very nice brake barrel pistol here. Uh, these have only just come into the country as of February 2014. They've been in the UK two weeks maximum. Um, and I managed to get my uh, hands on one. Um, what a great little pistol. Really is good. Really, really am impressed with it. It's non-spring. It's got the uh, nitro piston, nitrogen filled piston basically. So there's no spring. Um, oh, it's just stunning. It's really good. Back garden plinker is just, it's just perfect. Um, show the box. Uh, basically that's what you can see on the screen now. Um, up to 625 feet per second. Well I chronoed this with lead pellets. Well that says lead free pellets. Um, I chronoed it with uh, just some flathead target wad cutter pellets um, and I was getting around 500 feet per second um, which is quite impressive I think for a, for a 177 air pistol um, but it's just glorious it is a really really good fun to shoot um, brilliant I say the box yeah um, Cardboard box comes with um, it's all like uh, polystyrene inside. I won't get it out. Um, on the back, it just gives you all the specs of it, um, like you know the muzzle velocity, um, uh, what accessories you can get, like this scope. I haven't got one here with me, um, but that looks quite good. I think that would be a definite um, add-on, definitely. Uh, yeah, but that's it. I mean, um, nitrogen piston, uh, brake barrel, 177 calibre, uh, single shot, bath, just over three and a half pounds in weight, 16 inches overall length, rifled steel barrel, uh, fiber optic front sight, um, dovetail rail for your scope, um, cross bolt safety, blah blah blah. It's all there, but I'll uh, give you a closer look at everything and sort of taught you through it. So that's the box. So let's get rid of the box and look at the real thing. And there you go. Obviously it is safe. It is just stunning. It's a beast of a gun. It feels so good in the hand. It's real weighty uh, but it's well balanced as well. So there's a close up. Tough polymer receiver and handle. Uh, you got like these grips here. I suppose it's supposed to look like a slide. Um, but yeah, they look good. The hand grip reminds me of Caltech firearms, the way they grip their firearms. Um, with like the square grips. But yeah, it feels really comfortable. Trigger is really nice as well. Uh, there's your cross bolt, cross bolt safety. And you, it's got the name of the gun there, lot Benjamin Trail MP. And it's just stunning, it really is good. Just a real good, good back garden plinker. It does say on the box, and I, I've actually thought it would be perfect for it. It's a good ratting gun. It says small game on the box, but. What do I mean by small game? I'd say a good rat gun. Definitely a good rat gun. Um, but you get the cocking aid with it, which is this. Uh, that just fits on. Don't try and cock it without it because you'll damage the uh, front sight and you'll rip your hands to shreds as well on the front sight. So I'd definitely rec recommend leaving that on. So I'll just put that on now. Obviously it is safe. And that's it, that's on. And it gives it an overall bit of a beasty uh, look to it. So like I said, polymer receiver and handle. Feels good, feels nice and tough. Nice grip to it. Good weight to it, good balance once you've got the cocking aid on as well. 
it sort of balances everything out a little bit and obviously makes cocking the gun a lot easier. Um, this gun won't bear trap on you either, uh, so you can that means you can cock the gun, leave the barrel open, pull the trigger with the safety off, nothing will happen. It will not snap shut and take the end of your finger off while you're trying to load a pellet, so you ain't got to worry about that. But as always, keep your finger away from the trigger when you're loading a gun anyway. Rear sight is fully adjustable, nice and simple to use. Nothing really uh, complicated about that. And then the front side is a fibre optic sight. Now I was really impressed with this fibre optic sight because I was shooting this thing today and it was getting dark, sort of dusk time and when you look at the sight picture at dusk, I don't know whether I'll be able to sort of get it on camera, it won't really show up but that front sight looked like it was glowing in the dark it, it really is effective you need to hold one of these things to sort of uh, appreciate it but that front sight is really good and the overall sight picture is nice but you definitely need this cocking aid on to cock the gun because you don't want to be grabbing hold of the front sight to cock the gun because you're going to damage that fibre optic front sight obviously the cocking aid looks it makes it look high calibre but obviously you've got your 177 barrel right in there. I'll just show you the muzzle, actually. This can be a bit fiddly to get off if you like you're putting this gun away back in its box. There's the muzzle. It's like a plastic uh, well, polymer shrouded muzzle that houses the, the front sight there. But it's so smooth to shoot. There's no twang of a uh, spring. It's just real nice to shoot and real easy to cock as well. It's just nice and consistent to cock it. There's no sort of real sort of hard take up halfway down on the uh, the cocking stroke. And there's all the linkages there. I'll just cock this gun just to. It's just so easy to cock it. Now, I'll just show you the anti bear trap. Safety's off. Obviously, there's no pellet in there. Pull in the trigger, nothing. So you've not got that to worry about. There's the barrel. It's not loose or anything, the cocking aid. It feels nice and tight. Um, I personally would just leave it on. But again, it depends where you're going to store this gun. If you're just going to leave it in the box, then obviously you'll have to take it off for it to fit in the box. But um, if you're sort of locking this pistol away, then I'd keep it on. So like I said, this gun has got no spring in it. It's a nitrogen-filled gas ram piston. Uh, it gives you more detail on the box. Uh, in fact, it is the first ever nitro piston brake barrel pistol uh, I'll just zoom in you can see there it just gives you details of kind of how it works so you've got no spring to worry about no spring to sort of uh, you know start sort of flagging on you after a few years or loads of use 
and it's nice and quiet as well. According to this, it's 70% more quiet or less noisy than a conventional spring brake barrel pistol. Recoil is minimal as well. The weight and feel of this gun is really nice. Maybe a little bit heavy for younger shooters, but with this uh, cocking aid on here, I'm sure you'd have no problem sort of just resting it on some sort of bench or a sandbag or something like that if you you know just shooting tin cans in the back garden. Trigger is adjustable. But straight out of the box it, I found it just really nice, nice and crisp. But if you want to tweak it you can do. But it's just an absolute dream to shoot. I've really enjoyed uh, testing it. And I'm so impressed with that front uh, fibre optic sight. I think a gun like this will last you years. I mean, especially as you've got no spring to worry about, it really is going to uh, sort of stand the test of time. I say you've got your dovetail uh, grooves there, so, so if you do want to put a pistol scope on this or some sort of red dot or something, it's doable. I think uh, me personally, I'd put a I'd put a red dot on it. I think just for back garden plinking. This bit here kind of looks like a rail, uh, but it's not because obviously. You won't be able to put anything on there because of the cocking stroke. It's got to come clear of that. Kind of like a Glock style trigger guard. All polymer. But I love the side picture. Superb little air pistol. Well, I say little, it's quite big. Cross bolt safety is uh, just feels good, nice quality. Nothing really feels of bad quality on this gun. Everything just feels solid, it shoots so smooth, lovely and quiet. Just a great little uh, air pistol. The manual for this gun is uh, fairly straightforward, uh, mainly all covering all safety aspects of using the gun. Just comes in a fold out sheet. Uh, just gives details on how to cock the gun, um, all the do's and don'ts, how to adjust the trigger, uh, maintenance, um, just explains the safety catch and uh, how to put the cocking aid on. Um, that's it, fairly straightforward. But just be safe, that's the main thing with that, that's the main thing it's emphasising. Now this Trail MP air pistol is in fact a pistol version of the Trail MP air rifle. I uh, happen to have one here. That is a great gun. Absolutely brilliant air rifle. That's in testing at the minute. We've got that on loan. Um, look out for the review on that. I'll be doing that soon. Just been doing a lot of test shots with it and get into grips with it but basically this pistol is a pistol version of this rifle works on the same um, nitro piston so it's got the same internals obviously a little bit smaller for the for the pistol um, 
This gun is so smooth. Oh my God, it is so smooth. But uh, yeah, basically, big brother and little brother. As far as maintenance goes on this pistol, it's pretty much just keep it clean and probably just uh, clean the barrel out every so often. As far as the uh, power source is concerned, you haven't got to do anything with it. It's a sealed unit. It's just maintenance free. You ain't got to touch it. You ain't got to worry about a spring change every few years, you know, when you start losing power. All being well, that will just last forever. If anything, you've got to change in this gun will probably be the seal um, on the end of the barrel where you load. That might perish over time. But apart from that, just, just a pretty maintenance free air pistol. But I'd highly recommend this pistol. Really, really would. It's just been so much fun to shoot in the back garden and just uh, have some good old plinking fun shooting at tin cans and stuff. Yeah. Like I say, I chronoed it, you've probably seen it at the start of this video, it was averaging around the 500 feet per second mark, give or take, um, and that's just using wad cutter pellets. Um, I'm not sure of the actual grain weight of these pellets that I was using, uh, it doesn't say on the uh, on the tin, but they're just sort of cheap wad cutting pellets. But if you get some lighter pellets, um, you know, non lead ones, then you're going to sort of raise the bar as as far as feet per second and, you know, velocity is concerned. Uh, but just for a back garden plinker, you know, just use your sort of cheapo pellets. Um, if you are going to use this gun for ratting, then you'll probably want to use better pellets anyway. Um, personally, for ratting, I'd generally use a wad cutter type pellet anyway to sort of give maximum shock uh, rather than a, a pointed pellet that's going to sort of just go straight through like a hyperder hypodermic needle but yeah great little pistol looks kind of tactical um, as soon as I got it out of the box I was sort of thinking Robocop as soon as I uh, as soon as I got the cockinade on it and sort of got a feel of it I thought Blimey, that is a beast. Just reminds me of that yeah, that gun that Robocop has. But yeah, great little gun. Highly recommend it. Perfect for back garden plinking. Ideal for rat blasting. Great fun gun. That's your Rackin' Noble review.